In this video, we're going to look at writing a number as a product of its prime factors. Let's start off with listing the prime numbers. The first prime number is 2, then we have 3, we have 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, and so on and so forth. Often people say that prime numbers are numbers that can only be divided by themselves and 1. Whilst it's quite a good description, that would include 1. 1 is not a prime number. For it to be a prime number, it needs two factors, and those factors are going to be 1 and itself. These now are the first few prime numbers. If I want to take a number, and we'll start with 8, we might want to write this as a product of its prime factors. Product means multiply, and now these are going to be the prime factors that make up the number. Factors are just the numbers that go into 8, for example. What we do here is draw a factor tree. So when you hear product of prime factors, think factor tree. The first thing I say is, can I divide 8 by 2? The answer is yes, and I circle the 2. 2 is prime. That leaves me with 4. Can I divide 4 by 2? Yes, I can. That's prime, so I circle it, and it leaves me with 2. So what I've now got is 2, 2 and 2, and we multiply. So we can write now that 8, as a product of its prime factors, is going to be 2 multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2, or 2 to the power of 3. So that's 8 as a product of its prime factors. Let's go ahead now and do it with 12. So can we divide 12 by 2? The answer is yes, and that gives me 6. Can I divide this by 2? Yes, I can, and that will give me 3. All of these are prime numbers, and we've prime factored 12. We're out of numbers, so we can write this now as 2 times by 2 times by 3, or we can say 2 squared times by 3. So, as a product of its prime factors, product means multiply, these are the prime factors, we can say 12 is 2 squared times by 3. If we now take the number 27, can we divide this now by 2? The answer is no, so we divide it by the next prime number, which is 3. If I divide it by 3, that leaves me with 9. Can I divide that by 2? No, I can't, so I'm going to divide it by 3. That is going to leave me 3, and then we'll have 3. Multiply these, that is our product, and we can say that it's 3 times by 3 times by 3, or... 3 to the power of 3. Let's try another one. Let's now try 35. Can we divide 35 by 2? The answer is no. Can we divide it by 3? The answer is no. Can we divide it by 5? The answer is yes. And that leaves us 5, and that will give us now 7. These are both prime numbers, so as a product of its prime factors, we can say now that 35 is 5 times by 7. If we were unsure with this, we could check it on a calculator. So if I put it in, 35, then press enter, and hit shift, and then we hit the fat button, it tells me it's 5 times by 7. If I do the same with 8, press equals, shift, fat button, 2 to the power of 3. If I do it with 12, we hit equals, then shift, fat, 2 squared times by 3. So I'm writing all of these now as a product of their prime factors. Let's try a couple more. Let's go ahead now and look at 42. Can we divide this by 2? Yes, we can. That's going to give me 21. Can we divide this by 2? The answer is no, so I'm going to divide it by 3. That's the next prime number, and that is going to leave me 7. So as a product of its prime factors, we can say this is 2 times by 3 times by 7. And again, if we wanted to look at that, 42, we hit equals, shift fact, and we get now 2 times by 3 times by 7. We might get an exam question that says prime factorise, or write as a product of its prime factors, the number 42, and as a result, find now the product of prime factors of the number 84. Well, 84 is going to be equal to 2 times by 42. Therefore, and using the therefore symbol, 
we could write this now as 2 squared times by 3 times by 7. So all I've said to myself now is if we've got 42, we need to multiply our answer by 2, and that's going to give me 2 squared times by 3 times by 7. We'll do a couple more. Let's go ahead and try 56. Can we divide 56 by 2? Yes, we can. That's going to give me 28. Can we divide 28 by 2? Yes, we can. That's going to give me 14. Can we divide 14 by 2? Yes, we can. And that's going to give us 7. So multiplying these now, we simply multiply them and we'll have 2 times by 2 times by 2 times by 7. Or we could say now 2 to the power of 3 times by 7. So as we can see, drawing these factor trees allows us to break this down. Sometimes you'll hear it being called prime factor decomposition. Just go through your list here and then work from there. So fairly straightforward, fairly simple once you've done a few and you can write your answer in any of these forms. So 2 times 2 times 2 or 2 cubed, 2 times 2 times 3 or 2 squared times 3, 3 times 3 times 3 or 3 to the power of 3.